Well, friends, we've officially made it to the double digits. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday, OOTD. We've got the Arola Influencer short. I'm telling y'all, like, look at that. Like, instant BBL. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it is so good. I haven't met other colors, but I will tell you, I like the darker colors better in these. The lighter colors, maybe not so much leg day approved, you know what I mean? And then underneath, we've got a Revolution Bossy Print Sports Bra from Buff Bunny. We've got a Shein little ray of pitch black, little pump cover, and Beetlejuice socks for the win. Pre-workout, you guys know the drill. However, later at some point, it will change because I'm out of some stuff and I'm switching some things up. I know, crazy. What are you doing? We've got a banana. We've got a Pop-Tart from Aldi, one of those cinnamon brown sugar. And we've got my hashtag feed, the corn pops, 100 grams. Our first 40 ouncer and our PE Science stack, which has the Pro, the High Volume, and the Creatine Always. <coughs> Mango and the Pineapple mixed together is the GOAT. Fight me on it. I'm telling you guys, so good. It includes the two water packets for the day. 789 calories, 21 protein. I'm going to add a cup of Fairlife 2%. 159 carbs, 9 fat, 4 fiber. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. We have made it to the gym. Today is a leg day. It is hammy focus today and I just realized okay I think I've been doing this on purpose I've been leaving my 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 set as far as my squats my bench and my deadlifts what I'm supposed to be doing I've been leaving it in the car all right usually I would leave it in the house go ahead and put it in my phone as far as my workouts and kind of like know what I'm doing the next day but surprising myself by just doing it the day of and I did not realize that today is a heavy set for back squats and a PR attempt probably a good thing that I'm just realizing this now so I wouldn't stew and get in my own head you know how I do especially with these compound movements and we are attempting a PR squat of 180 today my current personal best is 175 at two reps but we have been killing it lately so I, I'm going in there confident but when I first saw that I was like oh snap like well, I thought I had a light day today but no we going in here and we lifting this heavy shit but that's what it's all about I hope that you guys are starting your week with a positive mindset when you're watching this this is the beginning for you guys week of Thanksgiving so let's talk about that for a minute I've had some people ask me uh, if I'm going to be taking a deload soon on this build or if any at all and my answer to that is that I'm going to be taking some a little bit of a time off for Thanksgiving and for Christmas so for Christmas we are staying home up until Christmas Day and I, I think I've mentioned this in one other video already but we are going to be leaving the very next day to go to Tennessee and go to Gatlinburg Dollywood that is the Christmas present that my husband and I are giving to the boys because y'all I don't know about y'all but they have so much stuff you know and what they have is like their jam you know what I mean like there's not much else that they actually want I know Santa's gonna be bringing all the things so I talked to my husband and I said you know what what can we get them that they don't already have or that you know will mean something and we're all about making memories and ha making these trips th that's what they're gonna remember they're not gonna remember opening up a particular toy or a particular gift unless it's like mind-blowing you know maybe but I feel like they're going to remember these experiences way more as they get older. And that's what we're trying to do. We've done in the past as well, you guys know. But that's basically all we're getting the boys. Uh, we are getting them like clothes and stuff, you know. But I plan on wrapping the tickets and all and like I saved a huge animatronic box from Halloween. And I plan on wrapping that. And putting it under the tree early because look y'all know Waylon his favorite is Christmas and he's just like my husband with going to shaking presents and like knowing what the shit is like they, my husband's the worst it could be the most random thing and he will tell you to the detail what's inside of it I don't know how he does it but Waylon's the exact same way so I, I my husband's like you're dirty for that that's wrong and I was like this is a parent's job this is a parent's duty to trick their kids and do this kind of stuff on Christmas this is like what we're supposed to do he's gonna be so surprised he has zero idea my sister and my brother-in-law we've already booked a cabin it's all done I just got to buy our tickets and get our little tasting pass for Dollywood y'all know that little thing we did last time they're doing it again 
cannot wait. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to go and I'm so excited to see his face on Christmas morning when him and Trey open the box. But I digress, I went down a whole rabbit hole with that. But for Thanksgiving, my plan is to work out when I wanna work out and don't work out when I'm not feeling it. We've got a lot going on that week as most of you guys do as well. On Tuesday before Thanksgiving, Trey has a dentist appointment early in the morning. Hubby has to work that Monday and Tuesday, but then he's off the rest of the week. You know, we have Thanksgiving thrown in there on Thursday. The next day, we're going shopping with my sister. Saturday, we're going to take Trey to go see Moana too. Moana is his favorite, y'all. Every time he sees the trailer, he stops in his tracks and he watches the TV. My husband's like, I've never seen anything like it. He's obsessed. He watches it on his tablet. All the songs is his favorite and he is going to absolutely love it. I cannot wait to take him to that. So we got a lot going on and I'm probably going to work out some days you usually don't see me. Like I do plan on working out that Saturday morning before we go to the movies and just fit it in where I want to fit it in, but not stress about it. That is my goal. And as far as eating is concerned, I'm eating whatever is a hell yes on Thanksgiving. And I have a few hell yeses and that's the only thing that goes on my plate in big portions, might I add, okay? I'm not just putting random crap on my plate because it's there or because someone made it and I don't wanna hurt their feelings. I know that sounds horrible, but that comes once a year and I'm gonna make it count for what I look forward to every year and my uh, desserts that I'm making. Y'all, I'm making my chocolate pie. If you've been with me for any amount of time, y'all know my chocolate pie by Paula Dean. It's not mine. Paula Dean's chocolate pie, okay? is the absolute freaking best chocolate pie on this planet. Fight me. I will t I will fight you for it. But it is so effing good and it's it's takes a little bit to put together, okay? It's not like a super easy recipe. It's not hard, but it's got a lot of steps to it. And I can hurt myself on that pie. <laughs> that is how good it The biggest hell yes ever is that freaking pie. And I plan on eating as much as I want of it. Um, Thursday, I'm gonna eat. Friday, I'm gonna eat whatever. And probably Saturday. But Sunday, we're getting right back to it. And when I say eat whatever, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm still gonna have some tracked meals like breakfast and lunches. But for dessert and for dinner, I'm gonna eat the leftovers, the Thanksgiving dinner, whatever that I want. And then get a full day on Sunday without any leftovers. That is my plan and get right back to it. It's what you guys do most that matters. These couple of days that you're gonna eat is not going to derail your progress, I promise you. It's not gonna make you gain all the way back that you started with. As long as you get back on the horse and get back to what you know is good for you and works best for you, that's gonna yield results. Not you, you know, just eating every single leftover for the next week and a half. You don't have to do that. I know a lot of you guys feel like waste is, is horrible. And look, I'm the same way. But if you're hosting and you have a shit ton of leftovers, save whatever you want to eat for the couple of days like I mentioned. And then give away the rest to everybody else. Have those to-go plates and, and just give it away. That way, it's not going to waste in your mind. You're not seeing if they're throwing it away or not is what I'm saying. And you're not having to throw it away. Like That's the move and that's the way to do it. Get your to-go boxes or don't make as much if you know that you're not gonna have a lot of people that you're hosting, just make enough so that way it's gone and you don't have to worry about it. Um, I have know a lot of people have that mentality as far as wasting and feel like they have to go binge on the food because it's wasteful. Don't have that mindset, you don't have to do that. So anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome holiday break this week. If you're off this week or have an extended weekend, I hope you were taking time to fill and pour into yourself and your cup, making those memories and just really relishing and cherishing the moment. That is my plan for this week. That is my plan for the Christmas holiday season and just keep on trucking along and making these daily deposits. So that being said, it's 742. Holy crap. I did not realize we were lifting this heavy today. It's okay. We're, we're going to get it done. That we gotta manifest this good juju vibes, right? Let's get in here, lift heavy shit, and be our best, strongest self. That's the goal. Week 10, let's go.
friends, friends, this week is already starting off fire. We hit four reps at 180, new PR for me. Holy crap, I cannot believe four. I was just wanting to get one. I got four. I was in a new cage. I had uh, Jim Bro was in my cage. I usually am, but he's freaking next level fierce, awesome. He's the guy that uh, was not the guy that helped me when I failed on my uh, attempt for a bench that one time that I, I got a clip of, but the guy that was like looking out for me, he is awesome. I, I love him. We've never talked, but I need to talk to him because I, I look up to him. He's next level fire, but he was over there in the cage and I was like, bro, do your thing. I, I got this over here. So I went to the other cage and it felt so good over there. That might be the new cage. I don't know, but the angle was trash as far as me able to film like total trash. So when I look back, I was like, God, that was like the worst angle ever. I got to figure out a good angle over there if I'm going to continue to do them over there. But they felt amazing. Amazing. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe 180. Like what is happening? Y'all know I've mentioned every single time that it was struggle bus just for me to get towards just two plates on there. And now we're adding more and more and more and I am next level here for it. Went up and all of our other stuff, you know your leg day is is good when you your legs are trembling in between your exercises. Like you're going hard and it's effective and I've really been trying to like pour everything into Monday's leg day as possible. No cardio, just really focus on going ham on the exercises, my muscle connection, tempo slow, all the things and wow, chef's kiss felt great. Didn't get to get much clips for y'all because again, it's just been so packed in here lately, especially Mondays are the most crowded, but I'll try to get more footage and I'll pop up my actual workout for Mondays right here so you can see what I did, how much weight I did and reps. Remember, don't compare yourself, but just to give you some ideas as far as what I'm doing for my particular workouts in this building phase. And to piggyback on what I was talking about for Thanksgiving, y'all, it's what you do most that matters. I mentioned it to one of the gym bros in here. He was talking about Thanksgiving and like how he was like gearing up and, and prepping for next week. And I said, you know what? Those couple of days of you eating and relaxing, not working out, whatever, is not going to affect your progress. Like I mentioned to you guys earlier, it's what you do most. It is if you totally go ham and then not go back to the gym for a month or two, that's gonna be what affects you. It's not gonna be a couple of days, y'all. We are here doing all this to be our healthiest self for longevity of life, right? but we've got to live that life. There is no life if you were just constantly spinning your wheels and constantly thinking and obsessing over exercise and food. Like y'all know it is my passion, it's my passion, but we need to step back sometimes and get a mental and physical break from it. There is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with living your life. And when I mean living your life, I'm not telling you guys to go and have a smorgasbord. That's not what I'm telling y'all, but to enjoy and live your life. You can have those memories and those moments around people and not be cramming your face until you're freaking like nauseous and uncomfortable. That's not the move. The move is to enjoy your hell yeses. Like I said, spend those moments, get some mental clarity from thinking about weighing and tracking and obsessing about food, rest your body and recover so you can come back even stronger in this gym from the extra yum yums that you had and the extra rest. And I guarantee you're gonna come back in the gym and you're gonna like freaking hit and slay PRs from the extra fuel that you have and the rest that you've given your body to recover. So don't overthink all this guys. We, we only get this one life and we're not guaranteed tomorrow. Y'all hear me say that all the time, live it. Don't ever have regrets on, man, I was so obsessing about getting my cardio in and, and blah, blah, blah. And I skipped Thanksgiving. I skipped Christmas. I skipped doing this with my kids because I was so obsessed about, oh, I shouldn't have that pizza with my kids, that kind of stuff. That is not the move. All right. That's not the move. Enjoy those things. Get back the rest of the day, get back the very next day, a whole day, and just keep checking off those boxes but don't skip those moments that matter most. You don't wanna look back and say that I didn't fully live my life. I obsessed. We don't wanna think that at all. Just wanna throw that out there because I know a lot of ladies particularly super obsessed and get themselves stressed and worked up over the holidays. Enjoy these holidays, y'all. Breathe, breathe. Take a chill pill. Take some time for you, whatever that looks like, and quit stressing and worrying so much. Let's get home post-workout. I'm sorry, y'all. It's boring and, and the same thing y'all usually see from me, 
but you know what we had a lot of those ingredients on hand i'm spending way too much in this effing grocery store y'all like last week with christmas presents plus groceries your girl needs 500 jobs to pay for what happened last week. Like, I'm still in sticker shock from it. So let's go home. Let's fuel up. Well, friends, it is now 11 o'clock. All right, I've been here for like 30 minutes because of this one. Can you explain yourself? Can you explain yourself why it took you 30 minutes to take a dump and go to the bathroom and smell every blade of grass? Can you tell our friends why it took you that long? Like really? Mama's hungry and you just out there smelling every blade of grass, finding the perfect place to pop a squat. Yeah, guilty as charged. So we're getting our post-workout meal in now. Thanks a lot, St. Dog. So what are we having? Two slices of cinnamon raisin bread. And then we've got the strawberry milkshake overnight oats. I'm do going the easy route instead of doing my traditional profi. I'm doing a premier protein shake that is over about eight ounces of my iced coffee with some cinnamon. And this cup, y'all, this Starbucks cup, I did not pay for this. When I went to the Vegas trip, I got a Starbucks on the way there and they were giving out free cups. Y'all, these cups are like $25. Like, um, yes, please, I will take a free cup all day, any day you want to give it to me, Starbucks. So the macros on our post-workout meal, 728 calories, 63 grams of protein, 95 carbs, 12 fat, 10 fiber. Y'all get that fiber in. It's going to help you stay full, satiated, and it's going to help you go to the bathroom. I know TMI, but it's not because it's the main thing I hear people struggle with in the programs so much. Speaking of programs, we do have the mini cut enrollment still available Get on it, y'all. It's going to close at some point, probably after Thanksgiving, depending if you're wanting to shed that like Christmas weight, all that stuff. I got you. Sign up. It's going to be awesome. Are you joking? Are you joking right now? I put up my creep mystery. Oh my God. I am obsessed. I bought this last year. I never put it up. <laughs> I even bought most of those ornaments last year. I bought Cracker Barrel ones this year and from Joann's because I knew I was putting it up this year. But like, I'm obsessed. Got this little tree off of Amazon. It's five foot. It's way bigger than what I expected it to be. Like, dang, it's perfection. I'll link it down below, but I love it. It's gonna make my work in the office so much better now for the holly jelly season. This time, what the heck are we doing? Something new. All right, it's not overnight oats, there's that. We got these cherry jalapeno and goat cheese chicken meatballs from Sam's Club. They come with a ton, all right? I got four of them in the air fryer, I'm about to check on them. And then I prepped some linguine, all right? Some feta chini, whatever this is. Over the weekend, I made like extra servings just in case I wanted to have it for a spontaneous dinner, if we're out of left, whatever. So I've got 121 grams weighed up. That's the portion I'm supposed to put in there. Two laughing cow cheeses. This is my like take on a healthy pastaroni. I've showed this a million times, but I wanted to break it down for anybody that's new. So I've got my pasta, just regular old plain ass pasta, y'all. You don't have to get crazy with the protein pasta if you don't want to. It's not that big of a difference. Two laughing cow cheeses. You can use any one. I'm doing the garlic and herb today. I've got some herb de Provence and some Trader Joe's Italian sofrito. And then I'm going to pour a little bit of Fairlife milk over it just to make it creamy. Microwave this for one minute and 15 seconds or 120. Perfection. Stir it, mash it around with a little spatula and you've got a better take on a pasta roni without a million ingredients. It's super good. The entire family eats it. So I'm going to put the meatballs over that and that's going to be lunch. Chicken meatballs, pasta roni, 418 calories, 26 protein, 53 carbs, 12 fat, two fiber. Finished up lunch, it's gone. I gotta skedaddle and go get tray, but wanted to update you guys on the meatballs. They spicy, but they're also sweet. They are a spicy sweet combo. So if you like that, definitely give them a try at Sam's. I don't think the boys would like them because of the spicy, so I'm not even gonna try it on them. But I'll freeze out of their pack and we'll eat them later for a lunch. That's why I got them anyways. I knew the boys wouldn't like them, but I like them. They just, they a little hot and y'all know your girl likes some heat. So just warning you guys, 
they are on the hotter side, but then they have that sweet back taste to them. Mm, I love some cranberry, y'all. Tonight we made the creamy tomato soup from Macro Friendly Foods. Elise Ellis, this is in her November meal plan. That is a serving, humongous. Just the soup is 225 calories and 22 grams of protein. Uh, we did grilled cheeses, which is just two plain pieces of white bread from Aldi, nine grams total of butter to butter each side, two slices of our good old plastic cheese, and that is it. So everything you see here, grilled cheese and tomato soup, a good old classic, right? 499 calories, 32 grams of protein, 56 carbs, 18 fat, uh, probably more fiber, but she never includes the fiber. So it says zero, but there's definitely some fiber in there. Just like overnight oats, I am on a Kelsey J Fit cake bowl kick. I am not mad about it at all. You, you can do this so many different ways and it never will get old. I think that's why she has it every night of her life. <laughs> and it's just easy. It's really easy. You're hitting a protein goal. You're hitting all the macronutrient goals. So why not? And using your American Dream nut butter if you're putting this on top. Blueberry cheesecake. I'm not sure if this, I think they got rid of this one. Uh, I can't remember, but it's one of my favorites. I think I have two on backup. It is so good paired with blueberry stuff because I have the blueberry Kodiak mix for my mix. So I have a whole serving of the nut butter. I'm going to put some carries on there and some of this birthday cake topping in just a second. I don't want it to get like all soaked in <laughs> while I'm talking to you guys. 359 calories, 21 protein, 43 carbs, 15 fat, and five fiber to end out this Monday. Good start to the week. Let's get ready for push day. I think we got another PR on the menu for push day and that one's the one that scares me the most, you guys know. Morning friends, OOTD, happy Tuesday. Amazon crusty white crop top. Need to reorder that because it's all nasty. Some buff bunny bossy print in the red leggings. Are you guys shocked we're not wearing sweatpants? We will be, don't get worried about that. Some Michael socks in a like knockoff to a Rolling Stones Shein spooky pump cover. Let's get it. Pre-workout is a little bit different. We've got our 40 ounce, our pre-workout stack from PD Science, of course. But instead of corn pops, I've got 100 grams of honey bunches, honey bunches, honey bunches of oats with strawberries. I love like the strawberry special K back in the day. That was my jam, but I thought this might be good with the honey clusters, you know? And then y'all, I still have a million of these home style Rice Krispie treats I got from the salvage store. Like, boxes. I was like, girl, don't buy any more Pop-Tarts, which I did buy one box just to have, because if this is trash, you know, we go on, we, that's all placebo, I know, but you know how I am. So I got this in here and a banana. So our total for our pre-workout today is 755 calories with my two water packets, 22 protein, 146 carbs, 13 fat, and eight fiber. Hello friends. We are not at the gym. <laughs> Curveball, wrench thrown into the plans always. So I called Sheree's pediatrician. We can start calling them at 7 a.m. They don't open till eight to see if I could get him in for this cough. It has turned into him having like difficulty breathing, like having some difficult breathing spells where it was really scary last night. Hence, I didn't get a good night's sleep. And I was like, no, like he needs to see a doctor. I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys, but I called last week and they basically told me, we don't want to see you because he hasn't been running fever and here's this to take this and this. And if it doesn't get better within a week, call us back. And after that spell last night, I was like, hell's to the no, I'm bringing my baby in to come get checked out. Somebody's got to see him. So we are here at the doctor's parking lot. We have an appointment for 8.20 at 7.52. He's back here eating his breakfast <laughs> from school. So I'm going to go in here and get him checked out. Fingers crossed it's nothing serious, but also fingers crossed they can give us something to help with whatever's happening. And then I'm going to check him in back to school and then people park it next to me. And then we're gonna go to the gym, but it's gonna be later. I did eat my pre-workout already because I couldn't call to make the appointment until seven and we leave the house at 6.30, so I did eat that. That's fine, but I knew we were probably gonna have an appointment and I saved my pre-workout, smart. I also packed my post-workout because I figured it would be a crazy day and I didn't wanna be hanging without any fuel after my workout, so that's all packed and good. I probably will just hang around town because there's no point in working out, going home for an hour and coming back to come and get him from school. So I might do that, that might be the move, and if that's the case, I will probably swing in and get something through a fast food 
to place, not ideal, but you can be done if you're in stuck in a situation like this to where you can still make a smart decision versus a crappy one. So I'll show you guys that if I decide to do that. But had to bring you along and show you guys that mom life be a mom life and for me too and it, it happens it's gonna happen it's inevitable it's never always gonna be perfect and you have to learn how to adjust winners adjust you hear me say that all the time and make it work for everybody and that's exactly what we're doing today we have now made it to the gym it is 9 30 so we went to the doctor she it's hard with trey because of his autism he doesn't understand like demand things sometimes like she's like take a deep breath in and out and he's just like okay <laughs> you know? he's like I I'm not doing that lady uh, so she's like I I'm not sure everything looked good like all his vitals like everything when she was listening to his chest and all that looked great but she ordered a chest x-ray so I whipped over there brought him got his chest x-ray he did great with that by the way like so shocked how good he did with that um, he did have one little meltdown episode in the doctor so my my parents with kiddos with autism I'm right there with you he had to go to the bathroom and it's so hard with him being nonverbal so like when he darts off and he has like a little manic moment you don't you're not sure what triggered him you know what I mean but he was looking for the bathroom from the bathroom he was totally fine afterwards Whew, thank god um he gets triggered by the doctor don't we all <laughs> he does not like going to the doctor but got his x-ray so what I'm trying to say is that they told me by the end of the day they would have the x-ray results the doctor would call me she was thinking about maybe getting him on a steroid she also said with the not being able to catch your breath thing that's common with children with coughs like they do that like stop breathing because they're scared of the cough or some some nonsense I don't know but my, my as a mama I am hoping that she orders something for him to take to get the cough away because I think the cough is what's triggering the breathing spells because he doesn't do it until he starts coughing you feel me so that is my hope but got all that done mom life is done checked him into school all good to go we are here for push day I'm supposed to be attempting an AMRAP set for a PR for chest I'm gonna see how we feel on them. I'm gonna try it. I might get crushed, but you know what? I'm here for it. 115 is what we're aiming for. We've gotten 110 at three reps, I think is the highest we've done. I've been feeling pretty good on them, but again, wrenching the plans, you know how that goes. It throws everything off and throws the feels off a little bit. I did just drink my pre-workout. Remember I saved it, so that was a smart move on my part instead of drinking it earlier so it wouldn't be worn off. So I'm feeling that. Gonna go in here and get a, get a good workout in. I probably won't get done until right before 12. There's no point really in me going home we'll we'll see I, I might go home i'm not sure but if not i got all my junk with me i got things i can do errands i can run so it, it's not a loss so let's get in here and let's push it push it friends maybe it was the pre-workout maybe it was eating way earlier i don't know but i'm not questioning it 115 not one two reps i probably could have went for a third looking at the footage if i had a spotter i definitely would damn i am impressed with myself not not full of myself proud of myself y'all that's a big accomplishment for me y'all know that I failed not long ago at what was it 110 and then I had to work up to that and now 115 two reps and they felt freaking amazing let's freaking go I am here for this strength I am here for this progression like I said last week in last week's video I'm just now feeling like we are in the sweet spot and it's not feeling it's hard but it's not feeling as like oh my god as it was a few weeks ago does that make sense and that just goes to show as you build mus muscle you're gonna build strength you're eating you're fueling your body adequately everything is looking awesome I am so freaking stoked and excited for this OMG gym was packed because it is at a different time so I got basically the one clip of the PR and that was it I was just in the zone trying to get ish done I wasn't able to do my leaning lap and I'm not waiting especially since I'm in here as long as I am already so I'll just do something similar I suggest you guys do the same I'm seeing a lot on social media of people getting really 
uh, butt hurt <laughs> about people hogging machines. And you know what? We're all paying our same dues. And there's a difference between hogging and working your sets and taking adequate rest time. And I feel like some people are dogging on people hogging machines, but they're actually like going really hard and they're taking adequate rest. So we shouldn't be dogging them unless they're like on their phone for 30 minutes in between each set. Y'all have heard me talk about people that do that. There is a, there is a difference between the two, you know, and we shouldn't hate on the people that are in here actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. And you know, like we would as well. We are, we're taking our rest and we're lifting heavy. So we don't want people talking about us, you know? So what I do is I don't get butt hurt about it. I just go do something uh, alternate. And a lot of times the alternate I like better, which was what happened today. So I've been doing leaning lateral raises. I went back to do my sitting ones where I am controlling. I don't like doing standing because I feel like I use momentum when I stand. So if I sit, I have the little bench thing where I can put my feet in. Nothing is moving but my arm, you know? And that is the point. And I felt them so good versus the leaning lateral raise. I do like the leaning ones, but I felt these better. So I think I'm going to do those going forward. And then I did an overhead press, just a basic machine. Like you could see at Planet Fitness. Not too crazy about that. Want to go back over to that overhead press thing. But again, it was all taken. It's fine. We got a good pump. We got a good workout and feeling freaking amazing. It is almost 12 o'clock. So I am not going home because I'd basically go home and then come back around in the car. So I good thing I packed my crap, right? Like me thinking ahead and being proactive. If you know you have a situation and you're not sure about the day, pack food just in case. It's a good move so you're not going through the drive-thru for everything. We probably are gonna go through the drive-thru for lunch, which I'm kind of excited about because y'all know your girl does not eat fast food at all. I don't like doing it and I don't really recommend it, but sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do. You know what I mean? And it's gonna be fine. We're gonna get lots of protein and it's still gonna be low calorie. You're gonna be like shooketh. So I've got my strawberry milkshake overnight oats in here. Not one, not two, but three slices of cinnamon swirl bread. And my shake, I've got my coffee for 828 cows, 65 protein, 115 carbs, 14 fat, and 11 fiber. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge for me to eat lunch. My lunch will probably be later, probably around <laughs> two or three and then maybe we'll push dinner back to six so we've got like you know a little bit of three hours in between each meal is what I usually like to do and then we'll have our dessert but we're getting in that fuel because we got to get these gains we got to get this muscle cardio was accomplished and just mm, chef's kiss oh my gosh y'all I know 115 is lightweight for so many of y'all but really relish and triumph in your own personal best because that's what matters and doesn't doesn't matter about somebody else and what they're doing that has zero effect on you zero so stay in your lane we're Worry about you and celebrate those wins that you are accomplishing and hells to the yes 115 baby we are working our way up to 120 cannot believe the progression especially this week is like the week of the prs i don't know what's going on but i am here for it a million percent not deadlifts because i skipped deadlifts last week we got to get back to working up on those because remember we hit a not a pr but we matched our pr on that the week before last so we got to get back to working on those so enough gabin i'm going to kill some time with running errands i may run into costco because there's only like one or two things i want to get from there and i don't want to use my grocery running day to do that so since i'm in town why not i've got a couple of things i need to do hashtag christmas so that's probably what's gonna happen lunchtime on the go what did we get we went to popeyes if you have a popeyes y'all secret five chicken tenders blackened don't get the other ones get the blackened ones 280 calories 43 grams of protein three carbs three fat crazy there is a biscuit in there i'm going to save it and give it to the boys i'm not going to eat the biscuit but i did get a side of regular mashed potatoes with cajun gravy which is 110 calories three protein 18 carbs four fat one fiber for a total i'm going to dip my chicken tenders in the mashed potatoes and gravy instead of getting a sauce with extra calories under 400 calories for this y'all 390 calories and listen up 46 grams of protein 21 carbs seven fat one fiber now, granted, this combo was like freaking $12, okay? But Chick-fil-A and all that's the same. So if you're in a pinch, is what I'm saying, and you are wanting to go through a drive through line, you can still get your protein in and keep it low calorie. And also, a little side note, if you didn't know, they cook the blackened ones to order, so they are freaking piping hot, steaming fresh. They're not sitting there under a heat lamp the entire time. As soon as you order them, they go ahead and cook them for you so you'll never get any like 
crusty ones anytime you go. Night dinner, we did Elise Ellis's breakfast, ham and cheese breakfast enchiladas. I think I've made these way back when, but bringing them back in rotation. And then we've got 99 grams of blueberries for our side for a total of 415 calories, 28 grams of protein, 37 carbs, 18 fat, and there's way more than two fiber. Again, she doesn't account that in her recipes, but we're using like the low carb tortillas and all. Plenty of fiber today, plenty of fiber. And never skip dessert, same thing as last night. The Kelsey J Fit Cake Bowl, 359 calories, 21 protein, 43 carbs, 15 fat, five fiber. I do have a whole serving of the blueberry cheesecake, almond butter from American Dream, carries will go on there, sugar-free syrup, and the whipped topping to wrap up Tuesday night. Um, a little update. My legs are on fire from Monday's workout. I'm just now feeling it like midday to now, like like hobbling around the house. So I'm going to take tomorrow, hump day, a rest day. Y'all know I've been training five days, tra <laughs> we're training five days straight, but I'm listening to my body and there's no way I can train quads tomorrow. My legs are on fire. So I'm gonna take tomorrow off and be right back at it on Thursday. Outfit of the day. Happy Thursday, everybody. We are back. Amazon crop top, you know, I have two of these in black because I'm obsessed. They need to make some more colors, some more like bold neons, I would like that. We've got some Buff Bunny legacy like short shorts in this cute little floral print with some gray Adam Sandler Walmart sweatpants, Nike socks, and y'all, it it's our first, our first coldest, our coldest day of the year today. Uh, it's freezing to us outside, it's like, and the lows are in the 30s. High is gonna be like barely 60 today. So I got a little cropped jacket I'm gonna wear. Probably not gonna be enough, but you know I'll be sweating in the gym. Good morning, happy Thursday. We have made it to the gym. So a few updates, I never updated you guys on Trey. So when we went to the doctor, she couldn't hear anything. Everything came back good. Oxygen levels, ears, throat, everything looked amazing. And because he can't, he doesn't understand like prompts as far as deep inhale and exhale, he's just like, Psh, okay. You know, so she's like, I'm not sure and I don't want to miss something because he can't do what I'm asking. So we went and brought him to get a chest x ray. All that came back crystal clear. So she did prescribe him a like steroid for the cough and automatically y'all that night like no issues at all whereas every night for two weeks he's been waking up three to four times a night having those spells where it sounds like he can't catch his breath so that is working and it's just so crazy how they're like oh we don't know what it is it could have been this initially and then now it's just like a bad cough they were telling us all this crazy stuff about how kids will like make themselves almost pass out with not breathing because of a cough. I'm like, what, what is happening? Like 2024, nothing, nothing surprises me <laughs> anymore nowadays as far as anything is concerned. Holy smokes. Yesterday we took our rest day, much needed. Y'all know I've been training five days straight, but I'm listening to my body, especially since we are like really training hard some days. I mean, we've already hit two PRs for me personally. I, you know, I get in my head with like, girl, you don't need to take that rest day or, you know, you're not pushing yourself hard enough. And then I look at the other things and I'm like, look how much you've done this week in comparison to like where you are in your journey. Like you are doing great. Get out of your head, take this rest day, get the recovery. So for me personally, y'all like, oh my gosh, from Monday's leg day, I think it was the cable abductors. It was a new exercise I did and they were feeling funky when I did them. I've been doing the abductors on machine, which those are next level fire, but I wanted to try something different for an additional hit to it. You know what I mean? And I did something funky and it has like effed up the left side of my glute all the way down to my quads. They were on fire. So that's why I really took the rest day yesterday because I was hobbling around, barely could walk, okay? I was like, what is happening? My left shoulder's feeling a little bit better, but it's still there. I totally need this body work tomorrow. So hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing comes up. We can get in there and she can work out everything because your girl is hurting and needs this body work something fierce. So today I am coming in to do my back and biceps Usually I do dead, deadlifts, y'all know I skipped them last week. I think I'm skipping them this week too, just because I'm supposed to be lifting like 240, 245 is my heaviest. With my glutes, my quad, and my shoulder uh, tweaked up, 
I don't think that's a smart move. So instead, I'm gonna really go ham as possible on my back exercises like I did last week. Super effective workout. Also have pull-ups on the menu today. I'm going to do those and just really kick ass with this workout. And then next week, I think I'm gonna do the first round of my deadlifts. It starts fresh. So 240 next week. And then the following week, it'll be a light week. And then the next week, we'll attempt another PR on deads. I think that's what I'm gonna do so it's fresh, especially with the crazy schedule next week with Thanksgiving and all. I just think that's a move, especially since I haven't gotten this body work done. And I'm just trying to really listen to my body. Like I said, getting knocked out the game is not the move for me. I just don't think that's a smart move if I go in there and try to lift 240 pounds, being that I didn't do them last week and I have issues going on. So I think that's what we're going to do. But feeling much better with taking the rest day yesterday. And y'all know a rest day for me is just not training. I'm still getting because I cannot sit my ass down well over 10,000 steps, like always running around like a crazy person and getting a million steps, but it's fine. As long as we're not coming in here and killing ourselves and training, it's a rest day for me. We fueled our body adequately and I'm looking forward to this weekend and looking forward to the holidays. We have a lot of fun stuff planned for the week of Thanksgiving. Trey's favorite of all time right now currently is Moana. He is obsessed with watching the songs on his tablet. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've told you the guys that before. Even at school, they give him free time and on the Promethean board, he plays Moana in the songs and they dance all day. So that is his jam. So we're gonna go see Moana too the Saturday after Thanksgiving. It's gonna be super fun. Got all the Thanksgiving a happenings a happening, going Black Friday shopping. So I'm just looking forward to spending time with the family and making those, those moments and cherishing that time. I've been really thinking about time lately a lot. I don't know about you guys, but when I look at Waylon and I look at Trey with how big they are and how fast the time is going by, it just makes me really want to slow down and pause and be in these moments even more. Like yesterday when Waylon got home, we started watching a Christmas movie on Netflix. We finished it last night. Instead of me always hustling and bustling, sometimes it's important to slow down and really soak in the moments because man, it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be gone before we know it. Mm, and it's gonna make me cry. All right, so a quarter to eight. Uh, we got, I can't talk anymore about it or I will be crying with you guys. A quarter to eight, I'm gonna go in here and slay back and biceps. Today is a grocery running day. It shouldn't be too bad. We got a lot of things on plan as far as house life, mom life, all of it, as, as always, you guys, it never stops. So let's go in here and let's crush this back and touch on these biceps. Just a tad. <laughs> biceps even though we didn't do deadlifts man we put it to work 
I'm really slowing the tempo as you can see on things guys the clips that you guys are getting are just a snippet like a lot of these exercises for a whole set especially like the reverse grip pull downs it's taking me like two minutes to do a set because I'm really slowing the tempo controlling that weight making sure I'm extending working the muscle stretching the muscle and it is all feeling amazing I did do a different exercise for real rear delts today so I was doing the like rear delt uh, bar close to the face thing and I was it was feeling kind of funky just like I mentioned to you guys some exercises that you do in here they're not going to be for you we are all different and that is okay but there is an exercise for you for every muscle group I promise you so today I did the rear delt cable pulls and holy smokes I could feel it in my rear delts so much better than what I was doing so I'm definitely going to do that and look guys lightweight only 10 pounds and my arm was like literally trembling by that 15th rep it felt so so good I think I'm extending a little bit if you look to the clip I think I'm extending my arm just a little bit too much back but I was trying to really stretch and feel that delt so I'm I'm always a work in progress and especially with something new guys make sure that you are recording yourself if you can because a lot of times things feel good and then you look at the footage and you're like oh I need to adjust this because the form's not the best whatever and you will keep progressing that way and the exercises will serve you better if you do that did cardio and it is right before 10 o'clock so we're making perfect time I've got to go to Aldi and I've got to go to Walmart I'm debating on going to the big Walmart or the little Walmart I want to go to the big Walmart because you know they got all the things to look at but my pocketbook is like girl go to the little Walmart why didn't you do a pickup what are you doing uh but it's Christmas time it's Christmas so we're probably gonna go into the big one I'm gonna try to be good post-workout meal is the same you guys have been seeing strawberry milkshake overnight oats two slices of bread today and then my profi um, I haven't done the meatballs and pasta since Monday we did Popeyes on Tuesday yesterday was rest day so I did like a breakfast situation so I got to get back on that because I meal prepped all that pasta and I don't want it to go to waste so your girl's going to get all the things done be productive I'll see you guys at lunchtime y'all why is Walmart a Walmart in hard? And I shopped the Thursday before Thanksgiving and Lord of mercy, I felt like Nora from Christmas with the cranks, except I wasn't rolling around in a buggy trying to get a, a holiday ham. I was just having that stink face the entire time because people were pissing me off every aisle. I'm like, nobody has any awareness of other people everybody is just in their own world does not give a flying you know what about anybody else it is insane to me the non-courteousness that's in the world right now it just blows my mind Ugh. anyways lunchtime instead of doing the jalapeno cranberry chicken meatballs i did the pasta but i put a can of tuna in there why because i've got the american dream holiday nut butters coming when you're watching this they are launching today on Monday if you're watching for everybody. If you're a VIP signed up, you could have gotten them Friday. So some of you guys might have already bought them. Go check out my live taste test. I'm supposed to do that tonight. So I'm trying to save as many calories as possible for that taste test because these butters look next level. I'm so excited for these. One of them has an entire little Deborah Christmas tree in there. Like, are you kidding me right now? Macros for lunch, 358 cals, 34 protein, 45 carbs, five fat, two fiber. I'm wolfing this down, sending an email, and I gotta get right back in the car to go get Trey. Thursdays and Fridays, you guys, are just like a whirlwind, I swear. Tonight we are doing the creamy tomato soup again with the grilled cheese. I didn't put as much in there. It was just a ton for the portion, in my opinion. You know, you know your girl likes a big portion, but when it comes to soup, it can, it can be a little bit much. So I like the way that she puts the ounces in there for the macros because in first form, in the first form app, you can make it to where you can adjust that. So I have exactly in there 12.9 ounces, which is 169 calories and 16 protein. Grilled cheese is the same. Total 443 cows, 26 protein, 50 carbs, 17 fat. That leaves me with over 500 calories for the day and only lacking 15 grams of protein lacking 47 carbs and 23 fat so that's perfect for the taste test your girl will definitely hit that 518 calorie number and that 15 grams of protein i assure you i have a good feeling about this we have made it to friday friends oh we did it 
OOTD. We've got one of those Target tanks I was telling y'all about that I like to wear on leg day. Got a green one, some Adam Sandler Walmart sweatpants, the Ox Shocks leopard print shorts are underneath. I love those. I've been linking those for y'all. Y'all, I need to upgrade on these Amazon Converse dupes though. They have seen some times in the gym. They, we need an upgrade. And then my pump cover, because it's freezing outside, is the Zero Amux given little uh, Shein hoodie hocus pocus funny. Good morning friends. Happy Friday. We have made it to the gym and let me tell you the world is trying to get me this morning already. So I went to go bring all my ish to the car which I have extra stuff today. Today is finally the day where we're supposed to get our sports massage. Please I'm gonna pray the entire time in the gym. Nothing happens because y'all know what happened last time two weeks ago when it got canceled right before I was going. Hopefully not because this body needs body work more than anything. It has been way too long. I skipped October. You guys know and now it is like virgin on the end of November. What is happening? To go bring all my crap out to the car. I've got my hands full always. I got zero help and I dropped, not this one, but I dropped my shaker that had my pre-workout and all on the floor. The whole bottom busted open. Pre-workout everywhere. I mean, there's crap splattered on the stove, on the cabinets. I wiped it up as far as getting a big towel to soak up the freaking liquid. But y'all, I have to leave the house at a certain time or Trey will be late for school. He goes to school so far away and we live so far away and with traffic and everything, I have to leave at a certain time or it is not happening. And we were already verging on late. So I just sopped it up and I told Waylon, I was like, do not, <laughs> I was like, nobody come over here and step in this. I'll clean it when I get back. And y'all, it is, a, I already was stepping in it trying to get all my crap afterwards and it is a sticky hot mess. So that was my first morning. <sighs> I was like, not today, Satan, not today. Got our tunes going, got the, the new pre-workout going and, and feeling good. I'm excited to come in here. I say I'm excited. We're coming in here to do glutes and shoulders. My upper, including my shoulders yesterday, from yesterday, even though it was back and biceps, you're still working your other muscle groups, right? And my shoulders are dusted. I'm like, how the hell are we gonna get this done? But I'm gonna go in here and do my best and hit them. That's the goal. And then glutes, y'all know, I've told you guys, my whole right side has been out of commission since Monday. That's why we took that rest day from that exercise. I know I wasn't doing it right and I, I F something up over here and I gotta make sure I do things properly. That's the only bad thing about doing a new exercise is when you go to test it out. If your form's not spot on, you could uh, hurt other things, you know, and I, I definitely did that. Lesson learned, we know what to do for next time, but I'm gonna go in here and hit glutes as, as much as I can. That, as a, that's my goal today. I'm excited to go in here and hit it, but I'm also like, girl, listen to your body and, and hit it the best that you can. Go get this body work done. My goal is Sunday is to go to the gym to hit legs, my quad day that I skipped. I'm like, we need to hit these quads. So that's my goal is to do that Sunday morning at some point. And then Monday, I'm going to do a, the boys are off of school. I'm going to do a garage push day not come to the gym so I don't have to wake up super early if I'm, I'm trying to avoid those early morning days as much as I can and then Monday night we are going to the Justin Timberlake concert I have made an entire playlist of the songs he supposedly is singing at the concert it got leaked way back when so I have a whole playlist of them and I've been listening to it every day let me tell you I've been jamming I love me some Justin Timberlake like say what you want about the man personally but he's got some bangers, okay? He's got some bangers and I was like, oh, I just cannot wait. So we're gonna do that Monday night. And then Tuesday, we have appointments at the Wazoo for the kids. So I'm taking that as a rest day. And then you guys know Wednesday, Thursday's gobble gobble day, Black Friday shopping day, all the things. We're just gonna work out when we can and rest when we can and enjoy life when we can. That's the whole point of doing all this, right? Is to actually enjoy life, not stress about this all the time. So slow down. I think I mentioned that already in this vlog. Slow down and cherish the moments, guys. Sometimes it's not all about like hustling, and bustling, and gotta, gotta do this, gotta, you need to slow down. Like we are not guaranteed tomorrow. We are not guaranteed a next breath, y'all. We don't know when our time is. So we need to make sure that we are relishing and enjoy it. And when I say that, I'm not talking about like balls to the wall, going extreme with things. That is not what I'm promoting to you guys at all. If you are listening, you understand what I'm saying. Like take the time and relish and cherish the moments that you have on this earth because we are not guaranteed 
the next. We are going out to eat tonight. I'm excited about that to a restaurant. I went with my sister a few weeks ago and we, it was spot on. We had, we used to go there all the time and we stopped. I don't know why. It is next level delicious. They have changed their menu and it's like fire now. So we're going to go and do that tonight. The scale is hella down for me. I've lost weight this entire week. Not sure what's happening because I'm, I'm eating my calories. Uh, there was yesterday with the nut butters, which speaking of with the nut butters, that peppermint one is my favorite. Waylon liked the cheesecake one the best. That was his favorite. He was like, this is the hands down the best one. And the Santa's magic is good too. So those are the three that we recommend. Christmas tree cake one, I would pass on. All I taste was peanut butter. Disappointed in that one. But when you're watching this, that launches today. Uh, if you weren't a VIP member to get them, go ahead and snag that peppermint. I'm telling you guys, that peppermint one is fire. I like that one the best. I lost my train of thought of what I was talking about. I got on a squirrel moment about the nut butter. So that being said, I need to be quiet. We do have our sports massage at 11 o'clock. I'm gonna go in here and, and kill as much as I can and I'll report back if, if we made it or not. our glutes and shoulders today really good workout I'm happy overhead press I matched last week I'm at the 35s again struggling with the 35s but again I'm going to get this body work with this shoulder hopefully and this right hip I don't know what's going on lower I'm falling apart I'm falling apart y'all that's what happens when you get older we are doing our post-workout meal is the exact same I just filled up my coffee with the premier shake i've got two slices of the cinnamon bread and my overnight oats it's 10 25 though my appointment is, a, is at 11 i'm gonna go get a car wash and i'm going to drink some of my uh coffee with the protein maybe eat the bread i'm not sure but i'll probably eat the oats afterwards it's fine as waylon says um but just going in there and pushing myself where i could really feel on that mind muscle connection i'm really slowing down on a lot of exercises you guys can see i didn't take but one clip <laughs> again i've just been in the zone i'm trying to like get in there really focus not worry about setting up the camera plus there's a million people around and i'm trying to be courteous and mindful of everybody you guys understand you know i'm here i'm here i'm, I'm getting it done right <laughs> i'm getting it done uh but i'm just really slowing the tempo down really feeling everything feeling really really good really excited about where we're going in this build and just keep on checking off those daily boxes and making the daily deposits do it what i know needs to be done i'm thinking based on the data based on the data depending on the beginning of december now thanksgiving is this week when you're watching that's gonna throw a big old wrench in, in this data because your girl is that chocolate pie is gonna be the end of me okay chocolate pie once a year yolo yes you're not supposed to i, I appreciate you guys but i will have the chocolate pie whenever i want the chocolate pie until I don't want it anymore. <laughs> like that's the plan. That is the plan. Cause we're not doing chocolate pie for Christmas. Cause we're going to Dollywood. So I'm going to be getting wasted on cinnamon bread at Dollywood. That's a whole nother story. But what I'm trying to say is that if the data still looks like it's looking right now, the beginning of December, we might bump it up to 2,900 calories. We'll see. We're, we're pretty good in a sweet spot right now. I'm liking where the data is. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm seeing results right now with it. No need to pack it on and just gain excess fat. Lesson learned from the like mini bulk that we did last year I've talked about before. So we're just, we're just keeping on, keeping on y'all. Keep being consistent and it's gonna pay off in the long run. It may not seem like it in the moment. That's why the pictures are so important guys to compare and see your progress over time. It's gonna take time. All right, enough gabbing, car wash body work finally hopefully in food oh my gosh sports massage done oh my god y'all i legit was like 
on another world. <laughs> she was like, girl, you were so relaxed. I was like, that's because we skipped a whole month. Like that cannot be happening. She said everything looked good. Things looked better than they did the last time. She writes notes and keeps everything off. I'm absolutely obsessed with her. <laughs> she is so freaking good. I told her, I was like, you could probably feel some tension in my right hand side with my hips and stuff. Cause when she did the same thing, man, it, it like hurt versus the left side. And she's like, your range of motion was awesome. Everything looked equal, the same. I didn't find any trigger points on the right-hand side. So she's like, it might've just been the exercise you were saying that you did cause some inflammation. She's like, but other than that, I'm not seeing any trigger points, which is good. She found trigger points, obviously, in the, in the shoulder, she said, but it wasn't as bad as last time. So things are looking on up. And as far as me coming consistently, it should look even better. So I was like, girl, I'm gonna get on the computer and make my appointment for December. So I suggest to you guys as well, if you're training really heavy or you're feeling a lot of aches and pains and stuff, it is really, really important to get this body work done. I'm not talking about a, a relaxing massage. I'm talking about body work. Like there's times where she's working on me and it's like I'm breathing, because <gasps> it hurts, it hurts, but it feels good afterwards and you definitely feel it in your training. So I cannot recommend a sports massage. If you can find somebody that does a sports massage, the stretching, y'all, she puts my leg like over my head. She's like, girl, if I put my, your leg any farther, we're gonna break you in half. She's like, your range of mobility is incredible. But if you find somebody that can do all that really good stretching and really pull on you and like, oh, uh, really get down deep, deep, deep tissue, all the things in that is absolutely incredible. Find somebody and make the trip if it's a little bit further away versus these little piss ass massages like I was getting before did nothing and you're wasting your time and your money more importantly. In case anyone thought I was lying about this morning's episode, look at the pre-workout everywhere all over the stove <laughs> everywhere I mean look at the footprints can you guys yeah you can see the footprints from the sticky mess and here is the the shaker that bit the dust dang girl got the floors clean trusty Taneko she's still a going y'all yes we still got the Taneko y'all ask about it all the time I do like my spin mop like really gets the dirt up but that is perfect for like in between vacuum slash mopping and stuff I'll link it down below you guys ask me all the time still on Instagram if I still use it yes I still use it I just purchased new like rollers for it and new filters and stuff off of Amazon they have like the knockoffs instead of buying it from Taneko and they fit perfectly and they're way cheaper if you want me to link that, I will too. Just let me know if you're in need. Lunchtime, we're doing the same thing we did last Friday. Gross, I know. Tuna and one laughing cow. It's been sitting here for like 30 minutes. I've been on the phone with my sister and I'm about to leave to go pick up Trey. This is 125 calories, 24 protein, one carb, three fat, zero fiber. I'm eating this because that leaves me with like over 1200 calories for dinner, mentioned we we're gonna go out, and I am gonna eat whatever my heart desires. Whatever looks good, that's what I'm eating, and I'm probably not gonna have dessert, but we're gonna have a good dinner. So I have my macros left for that. I'm lacking about 50 grams of protein. Um, may or may not hit that. It, it's fine, as Waylon says. And we got a lot of fat and a lot of carbs to, to play around with. So that's the plan. Tomorrow on Saturday, the plan is to sleep in, relax as much as I can, do my check-ins for the reverse program, and then tackle outside decorating since now it's finally cold and I won't be sweating. I can put outside decorations up. It was up to Wayland. We'd be out there in the 100 degree heat putting the Santa out there. But I was like, boy, you got to wait till it gets cold. Now it's cold. He's like, he asked me yesterday, mom, when you, when, mom, when it, when is it, ha when is it happening? I said, tomorrow, son, it'll be cold. <laughs> so I'm going to do it tomorrow. That's the plan. We'll take you guys along for dinner in a little bit. I got to go round up everybody get everybody settled in for the weekend and the week off and we're gonna get this party started for thanksgiving week going out to eat quick fit we've got some buff bunny rebel leggings y'all i've had these so long there's a hole in the booty like a little small way up here so we make sure to cover the booty anyway but we definitely got to because we got our booty hanging out in the hole that's how long we've had these bad boys got some shein boots love these so much i shared those in a shein haul with y'all speaking of shein uh this top is from shein got it forever ago necklace earrings all the things this bag is a backstitch bruja also the strawberry uh one that i have I have mini bags from her. Love her stuff so much. And that is the, the quick fit, you guys. That is it. Let's go grub down.